Next is question number 2.4. It's a problem. Here you can say concentrated nitric acid used in laboratory is 68% nitric acid by mass in an aqueous solution. What should be the molarity of such a sample of acid if the density of the solution is 1.504 gram per ml? So here, let's see a few, few information that we're getting from the question. First thing, it says concentrated nitric acid used in laboratory is 68% nitric acid by mass. What is the meaning of this sentence here? So here we can write that 68% of nitric acid means 68 grams of HNO3 is present in 100 grams of the solution because the question clearly says by mass so you need to get your values in mass so here it is 68 grams in 100 grams of solution so we got the meaning of that then what is given to us in the question density density is given to us as 1.504 gram per ml so these are given and they want us to calculate what is the molarity very simple question so first we'll write what is the formula of molarity molarity is number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter as the formula now what is the solute over here the solute is hno3 so in brackets i'm just writing hno3 all right now in this formula number of moles is not given to us directly we need to calculate because we only have given mass here we need to calculate number of moles from the given mass second thing volume of solution in liters is not given to us instead what is given to us density we know that the formula of density is mass by volume in that mass by volume we don't know what is the volume we know what is the mass mass of that solution is what 100 grams we need to find what is the volume of the solution where density of solution is also given to us so first things two things that we need to calculate is one number of moles of solute we have to calculate volume we should calculate from the density then we can substitute the values in the formula to calculate what is the molarity so it's a very simple one let's go step by step now number of moles of solute so what is the formula for number of moles number of moles of solute what is a solute hno3 so number of moles of hno3 is what what is the formula it is given mass by molar mass now given mass is there in the question 68 grams molar mass of hno3 is not there we should calculate it right so we can calculate the molar mass of HNO3. So when you look at molar mass for HNO3, atom of hydrogen is only 1. So 1 into, what is the atomic mass of hydrogen? 1. Plus, how many atoms of nitrogen are there? Only 1 into, atomic mass of nitrogen is 14. Plus, how many atoms of oxygen are there? 3 into atomic mass of oxygen 16 so this is 1 plus 14 plus 16 into 3 is going to be 48 now when we simplify this entire thing you will get 63 grams so this is going to be the molar mass of HNO3 now let's substitute it to find the number of moles given mass is 68 grams from the question divided by so this is going to be 68 gram per mole so this is here 68 molar mass is 63 gram per mole 
gram and gram will get cancelled. 68 by 63 will be 1.079 mole inverse comes up and this will become moles. Alright, so I have number of moles as 1.079 moles. So I got what is a numerator. Denominator is not given directly. We need to calculate from density. So what is the formula of density? Now density of what? Of solution is given to us. So density of the solution is equal to mass of the solution by volume of the solution. So now in this density of solution is given to us in the question. Mass of the solution is here 100 grams. We need to calculate what is volume. So just take this out. We can write mass of the solution is equal to volume of solution is equal to mass by density. So mass is what? Mass is 100 grams. So we can write 100 grams divided by density of the solution is 1.504 unit is gram per ml. Gram and gram will get cancelled. 100 by 1.504 is 66.49 ml inverse will become ml. Now our volume should be in liters but we got in terms of ml. So when you have to do this, this will be divided by 1000 when you have to convert it to L liters. So when you convert it to liters, it will become 0 0.06649 liters. So now we know what is the number of moles, it's here. We know what is the volume of solution in liters, it is here. Substitute both values in the molarity formula. So now molarity is equal to number of moles of HNO3 is 1.079 moles by volume of solution in liters is here 0 0.06649 liter. Both when I divide, I will get 16.22 moles is in the numerator. Denominator liter comes up as liter inverse. This is going to be the answer or molarity for the question.